Hey, it's Bridget. Okay, you guys, I have to chat with you a little bit. So I had this weird thing kind of happen. And that sounds funny for me to say because, you know, I'm a psychic and a medium and a coach. And so my psychic medium stuff, I'm like kind of connected, you know, plugged in. Just like you plug your phone in and you plug your earbuds into your phone. That's how I'm connected, right? And I like to believe that I'm connected by choice and that I must be open in order to receive a connection if I'm going to be doing any kind of channeling. But today, what happened, I just want to tell you, this is weird. Usually when I do channeling work, I am intentional about it and purposeful. And I like to connect so that the messages will be positive, inspiring or insightful, some way to encourage your own healing, to support your own life. And so I stay away from stuff that's ultra controversial. I mean, not on purpose anyway. I don't, sometimes I stumble into channeling or I don't know that there's a lot of controversy or controversy or conspiracy. Let's be more real. It's like conspiracy theories around people's deaths and stuff. And so I try to stay away from that. So that means I try to stay away from like high profile things like cases, criminal cases and missing persons and all that kind of stuff. But today i mean unless i should say unless there's like a major positive impact by doing it by sharing their story and that there's a greater purpose for that then i'm i guess i can't say it never because you know maybe there's a, a higher purpose so but so today i'm walking and doing my walk in the morning and it's so hot you guys I live in Minnesota it's blessed hot today and I love hot, hot weather because usually you know like six months from now not even six months from now it'll be very cold here I won't be able to sit outside and enjoy the humidity <laughs> so I appreciate it love the weather but so I was walking and uh, something uh, a name popped into my head and I'd heard the name before and it's a little drama it's a little it could be triggering for some people or interesting to many people fascinating to many people because it has to do with it's a very hot um a very um intense case let's say that it's pretty gruesome actually so i'm walking and black dahlia the name Black Dahlia popped in, which actually refers to an actress in Hollywood um, who was murdered in the late 1940s. And she, um, her name is Elizabeth Short. Now, I didn't know, I didn't remember what her name was. I was thinking it was like Beth, like a B name, which I guess is short for Elizabeth. But I just, and how did it pop in? I'm walking and it's beautiful and I'm relaxed and I'm appreciating everything. And, and all of a sudden, and I'm like, I'm kind of talking to myself, my spirit and my mind. And I'm talking about things, a little bit of things like kind of work related a little bit. When I say work, I mean channeling related and, and um, I missed a live stream yesterday. Like I scheduled a live stream in my work, in my life, my human life, my family stuff got super, super busy and I just couldn't do it. And I, luckily I had a heads up that I wouldn't be able to do it the day, night before, so I, had, I posted it. But I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about timing, and I was thinking about managing work-life balance. And in the summer, I love to work a lot, but it's really crazy with the kids' stuff. You know, running the errands with them, taxiing them, dentist, doctor, ortho, whatever. Getting back to the point, Bridget. Getting back to the point. Get back to the point. Okay. So the point is, she popped in. Um, I'm not saying she came to me. I'm just saying her, just a bubble of her and I could see her face. And I've seen her face before because I watch a daily vlogger. Um, I don't watch every day, but I watch from time to time a daily vlogger who vlogs Hollywood and old Hollywood. And I know that he's the one that um, originally vlogged some information about this actress, Elizabeth Short. Because of her death, her death is kind of what made her famous, which to me is sad and I don't want to glorify death. You know, I hate that. And those were Freddie Mercury's words, actually. I just did a channeling last this last week and posted it for you guys with Freddie and the glorification of death. It's a thing, you know. He's like, why Why do people do that? I'm like, I don't know. It's just a human thing, curiosity. So I certainly don't want to sit here and channel the Black Dahlia and talk to her for you. I don't want to do that for you if you're a person that loves that kind of stuff. I want to 
yet at the same time I want to be open because maybe there's a higher purpose, right? So I come back and I instantly go to the vlogger that I watch and I, I look to see, okay, is there something that is, well, wait, back up. So first thing I do, because I'm not, I'm thinking I'm not gonna channel her. I'm not gonna channel her. So first thing I do is do what sometimes people tell me I should be doing in the first place, which I don't usually do, and that's Google people. So I, <laughs> I did like what a viewer would do. I Googled it to find out info, because I thought, Usually when celebrities in the afterlife or spirits show up to me, there's some kind of significance to it. Or when I am linking into that celebrity, there has to be some kind of uh, time timing that's an, a thing. So it could be their birthday coming up, their death date, um, maybe the person that was responsible for their murder just died, that kind of thing, right? So there's there's all that, um, but there's some kind of synchronicity or lining up. And as I was thinking about work and family, you know, life balance and channeling, and I'm thinking, oh, should I channel today? Should I take the day off? I really need a day off. And to just like chill, literally not do anything except self-care stuff, you know? And that came up. So I looked, you guys, and July, oh, no, I'm going to get the, the date wrong because I don't have my computer in front of me. Um, Elizabeth Short was born. Her birthday is in July, the end of July. I think it's the 29th, July 29th. Her birthday's at the end of the July. And so I thought, oh, it's a timing thing because right now I'm recording this and it's, uh, I think I'm at the 19th. Am I at the 20th yet? It might be the 20th. I think it's the 19th today. Yeah, I think. Yeah, 19th. Yes, 19th. I had to think about it, you guys. Oh my gosh, crazy. See, time's getting away from me. And so her, her if it is indeed the 19th and her birthday really was on the 20, uh, 29th, that's like, what, 10 days? So it's coming up. And so maybe that's the that's the hit for me or the connector for me is celebrating the birth celebrating the incarnation the fact that she this woman had enough guts to incarnate into this life and have the experiences that she had and which was a difficult experience and interesting here's another interesting piece another interesting piece so so interesting i'm just putting this together now when i saw her birthday i saw where she was born and it was in Ma it was in massachusetts in boston she's from boston boston and i'm going to boston i'm flying in next week on saturday which would it be like the 27th? Yeah, the 27th of July. So a couple of days before her birthday, I'm going to the city where she was born. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. So there's a couple of connectors there. And so perhaps that's why synchronicity lining up and then I'm, you know, in, in alignment. So then of course I had to watch the daily vlogger, the vlogger I like, and looked up the, um, what he talked about, the historical part of it. Um, so I looked that up, I watched him. It was like a 15 something video, it wasn't super long. So I watched that and I was like, oh yes, I remember this now. I had seen this, I must have seen this video before with him. Of course, of course, it's all familiar. And so I'm like, okay, so now I know some data about it, some info, some kind of sketchy little details and stuff. And so, but the thing is, you guys, the thing is, I thought, oh, I don't know what to do for you. I said, and I looked at her because I could see her picture because it was up, you know, on my Google screen. I could see her picture, and I said, I don't know what to do for you. I'm not sure why I'm feeling connected to you, or why I'm making a connection, making a connection to you. Why is there a connection made here? Why is there a bridge? Okay, and I'm looking at her. I'm like, why is there a bridge? And And then she says, because you are, because you are. She's very, very pleasant. And, and then I asked her, I said, wow, there's so, I said, who killed you? I just said that. And I don't usually do that. I don't do that. I don't like bust crimes, bust cases open, but she answered. She said, George, I have no idea who George is. Who the hell is George? I don't know. She said, George, she said, George killed me. It's like the people you trust the most or the people that you allow close to you aren't necessarily the ones you should trust, she says. 
Hmm. And then, because I thought maybe there was a connection between Elizabeth, Elizabeth Short, and Marilyn Monroe, because I love Marilyn. I'm talking to Marilyn often. I'm, I'm really, it's so easy for me to connect with Marilyn Monroe, super easy. And so when I, I felt into this, this energy, I, I just, I shouldn't say I felt, because I really didn't feel into it. I kind of just allowed myself to let the connection be without feeling, because I don't want to feel, because this is gruesome, you guys. If you look up the details, it is horrific. And I don't want to feel it and get lost in that ickiness of, of the, the end of her life you know i don't want to do that you guys go ahead look at look up what you need to look up to understand kind of why this is such a big deal but i i thought well maybe there's a connection between her and marilyn monroe but they were kind of like right like marilyn would have been starting to become marilyn monroe at the time that elizabeth died so they could have crossed paths they definitely could have but i don't feel it like a strong like like Marilyn wasn't really well known then that kind of thing so it doesn't really feel like a it's a probability yes that they cross paths because they're in the same places and the same areas and that kind of thing but not a an awareness of that kind of a thing but it is it's I mean it's tragic and it's sad like she was so young she was 22 um, and the reason why they called her the Black Dahlia is, and actually that's how she was known after she died. So that was the, that's the, the legacy or the legend of her death. And so the death itself is Black Dahlia. She's not Black Dahlia, but she's Elizabeth or Beth as, as she would be known to friends. And so a young person with dreams is, is the energy I think that I connect to with her as a young woman with dreams, 22, very young, you know, and she came out to Hollywood a lot, I think, I want to say 15, 16. She feels really young. I don't know how old she is. Maybe she just looks really young. Um, 18, 17, 18, something very, very young. And, you know, wanting to be an actress. an actress or a performer because I, I know that she's like a chorus she was like a chorus girl they call them chorus girls or whatever um, I know there was mafia mixed in influences I know it was I know there was mafia stuff mob stuff but I, it doesn't feel like her direct the reason why she was like that it doesn't necessarily feel like there was a hit out on her but I'm not 100% sure on that like I don't know that somebody um, ordered her murder or if her murder was made to look like it was ordered. And that's kind of more what it feels like, that her murder was made to look like it was ordered, like it was a mob thing. But she was. She was inter intermingled in some of the mob activities and things like that with some of the men and the women that she was connected to. But it doesn't look like there's an actual... If there's a correlation, it's a dotted line or a dashed line, not a direct connection it's not exactly this it's a little complicated there's multiple people that are involved and that knew that this was happening or that this was going down or that this was likely probable possible on that day and yet nobody saved her so I'll share that that's tough I guess I'm kind of channeling her I'm trying not to bring her on in and channel her fully but there are pieces here so i'm just documenting this i guess i don't know that i should share this at above life channel it's not really the genre that i want to be in and god knows i do not want more requests to do horrific murders and things like there are other actresses and things that people have requested over and over again that i do uh, channeling with and i i'm like no because the reason why we focus on that person is because of the murder and the connection to all the murders that that person's connected to and i I don't want to get into that mostly too because I also know who the murderer is and I don't want to be end up channeling the murderer I don't want to do that I don't want to do that because of the energy not because I want to judge or evaluate or think I'm better than anybody else at all um, but I have standards <laughs> quality control people it's called quality control and I have boundaries and I I don't want to feel that stuff 
and I feel like when I do channel situations like that, you feel it because that's how I connect first. If I want to connect with someone in the afterlife, I feel them first. Usually I can invite them, but then I connect at the heart, like I bridge, you know, that's what I do. And then, then other stuff, like then when I really want to talk about it, I use my clairvoyance, which is sight. I can see them. So I feel them and I see them and then I can hear them at times and um, translate the information or the energy into words and that kind of thing. So it's just, so you can understand that I don't want to feel that. Le yuck. So, and maybe other psychics do that kind of stuff and that's totally fine. Like if they can do it and they can manage it in a way that's, that's healthy for them and that provides some kind of a service to the public and understanding the mind or helping to prevent anything in the future or understanding mental health or mental illness or something like that maybe for healing that's you know that's I don't really honestly have a very strong opinion about that when others do it I don't have an issue with it is what I'm trying to say I think it's important to do that because I think a lot of times people in the psychic community or spiritual community even our people that enjoy our work our, our com own communities I think that there's like this feeling of um, almost proprietary or um, this feeling of um, like I'm on this team kind of thing with this psychic or I'm on this team with this channeler and it's not like most of us do not have an issue with you guys. I mean, it's not about, there's no ownership here. I have no ownership <laughs> of that. I want to encourage you to be discerning, to seek out information that helps you be a better person, helps you connect with your spirit. It's not about being like loyal to me and not if you watch something with somebody else. I, I, that's fine, you guys. That's great. You should get variety. I mean, it would be boring to just watch, I think, one person all the time. I think so. So. So I encourage you to, you know, explore and stuff and don't, uh, don't give that a second thought. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to do channeling a formal channel with her, with Elizabeth Short. And I feel like, like looking back at it now, calling her the Black Dahlia was probably rude, but my mind is like, I'm like, I just can't even wrap my head around the fact that I would even consider channeling with her. But it's not her fault the way she died, you know, and it's like, how can you shift the narrative? How can you refocus on the dreams of a young woman and what she had to do to survive and what she really wanted? What did she want? Did she want love? Did she want attention? Did she want recognition? I mean, what did she really want from life? You know, and that's a lot of the questions that all of us ask, whether you're uh, 17, 15, 22, 30, 45, 50, 63, or 71, you know? All the different parts of your, your life you should be asking yourself about what are your dreams, what you want, what do you want from life? Uh, what do you really want to be acknowledged, you know? What do you really want for you to acknowledge whatever you want for your life? You know, what do you want? You have to acknowledge that. So perhaps the dreams piece, dreams unrealized, you know, taken perhaps as a piece so, to encourage you to have the freedom to connect with your own perhaps so I can see her quite clearly right now she has dark hair I didn't realize that I guess oh yes I did I saw a black and white photo yes I did yes I did it's dark I don't know how dark it is though different hmm really different that her eyes is what I notice a lot and her perfect eyebrows her eyebrows look just perfect hmm and her shoes, I can't tell if they're brown or black. They look like little Mary Janes. They're, um, but they have a heel, you know, like dance her shoes kind of. I wanna say they're brown, but they should be black, but they look brown. I don't know why that is, so. All right, again, this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. This is not the normal kind of a, a channeling that I would share with you. In fact, I mean, you can tell, like, look at me, I'm all casual. I just got done with my walk this morning. Just washed my face, I actually put on makeup because I thought, oh, maybe I'll channel. And then it was too hot to take my, headband off it is really hot so mm. yeah this is kind of a different one you guys it's kind of weird I warned you it was going to be weird a little bit weird so you can have com you can make your comments in um, the space that's provided below and tell me what you got out of this video maybe please that would be helpful what did you get from this video personally like what did you get out of this that would be good to know so that I can that's good information for future to decide if I if I actually want to share anything like this at all in the future like casual I'm it's kind of like I'm vlogging you know 
and I do that on my other channel. I have another channel that I just do vlogging on, but this is kind of unique, so not sure. Not sure how I feel about sharing it here in this arena, but let me know. Let me know if you gained anything from this. Again, this is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching.